Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a few of the beauty products that I picked up. Well not just beauty products, but a few of the general products. The stuff, I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff that I picked up throughout the month of January. Uh, it was my birthday so I did some shopping and so I'm just going to jump right into a haul of the few things that I picked up. I didn't go too crazy um, but I bought one kind of big thing so that accounted for a lot of it. First up, I went into Selfridges. I love Selfridges for shopping. I can spend hours there. It's such a great store. They have everything. You don't really need to go out. So I did spend a good few hours in Selfridges, um, starting off in the beauty hall, because I love it there. So the first thing I picked up was a beauty blender. Now, everybody raves about these. I never really understood how a 13 pound sponge could really be all that amazing, but what the hell, I decided I'd give it a go. So I have that, haven't tried it yet, still in the box, but I am looking forward to seeing how that works with my foundation. So that, that's kind of exciting. I picked up another travel uh, travel atomizer. I already have one of these. Uh, it just seems that of late I keep leaving the house and I forget to put fragrance on and I get halfway to work and just go, oh, didn't put any perfume on, damn. So I've decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two of them filled with a couple of different fragrances and then just have them with me all the time. So I always have not only a fragrance but an option because I'm a girl who likes options. So I have, the one I already have is like a, a kind of champagne colour and then I have like a more kind of warmer gold one. So yeah, need to, really need to fill that up because it's been a couple of weeks. Um, not beauty but pretty and it's probably going to be used in a beauty related capacity. Um, there is a Ted Baker concession in uh, Selfridges and I have a few bits and pieces from Ted Baker, a few makeup bags and that kind of thing. I picked some up last year. I picked this up. This is meant to be a pencil case but I'm probably going to use this for makeup to keep in my handbag. I, the tag is driving me nuts. I love the cute little bow. I, this is the thing I love about Ted Baker. I love the bows and you're going to see that in a second. So I picked up the pencil case which is cute. I picked up a rose gold cuff that I'm going to put on and then show you because, well, why the hell not? So this is a leather cuff. I wear a lot of, of cuff type bracelets. I have a few from Aspinall that I really like. Um, it's just, I just like that style of jewellery. And so this one, which is upside down, I've just realised. But again, it's that, that cute Ted Baker bow. So I love that. But... Uh, yeah, I have some Kate Spade bow earrings, but the bow's different, so uh, anybody who might be concerned, I will not be wearing this with other bow jewellery. And certainly not a bow sweater. Uh, last Ted Baker thing I picked up was this iPad mini case. I don't think this camera's going to show quite how vivid this colour is, but it is in kind of regular daylight. It looks just kind of corally, you know, kind of coral colour. Uh, when you get it under... Like in my office, I had it in the office last week, it almost glows, it almost goes fluorescent. It is gorgeous. This comes in um, a larger size as well and there's makeup bags. I think this pencil case comes in this colour as well but they didn't have one, they just had the bronze which is fine with me. Um, but it's so pretty and I love it. So yeah, iPad mini. I may go back for a full size iPad one as well even though I have a mint green one of those but I don't know, maybe, we'll see. So I picked that up. And then, also in Selfridges, this is the last thing I think from Selfridges, oh no, it's not the last thing from Selfridges. I picked up a lipstick, a Topshop lipstick from Selfridges, which makes no sense, but what do you do? Um, I've been kind of into peachy coloured lips, as you've probably been able to tell. Um, so I happened to see this and I saw it and I thought it was a nice colour. This is their lipstick in Whimsical, which is, you know, it's a peachy colour, right there which I've worn a couple of times and I really like. It's a nice formula. I like the packaging because it has that good click. So yeah, very pretty and I'm very pleased with that. Um, other makeup items I picked up. I went into Boots and I picked up a few things. Uh, two mascaras and a face product. Oh, and a body product, but I'll come back to that in a second. So I picked up the Una Brennan Facialist Vitamin C Plus Vitamin C plus Brighton Skin Renew Cleansing Oil, which is kind of a mouthful. I picked this up because I am kind of a faithful user of the Origins Clean Energy Cleanse Off Oil, and I wondered whether this might be a slightly cheaper dupe for it, because I think the Origins is between 16 and 18 pounds. I got this for about 7.50, it was on offer, but it's normally about 10 pounds. I've heard good things, so I uh, I thought I'd give it a try because if it's cheaper and it does the same job then I would probably switch to this 
it's more easily accessible for me as well. I'm more often near a boots than I am somewhere where I can buy Origins products. So I got that. And then I got two mascaras. I got the Max Factor Excess Volume Extreme Impact Mascara. So these are both double-ended mascaras. This is the one that, if you are in America, I believe this is the same as the CoverGirl one because I think you have CoverGirl, we have Max Factor, and the products are the same. So I got that one, and then I got the uh, Maybelline Big Eyes Upper and Lower Lashes thingy, and I got the waterproof in that because I like waterproof my lower lashes. As you can see, both sealed. Haven't tried these yet just because I'm working my way through a ton of other mascaras, but I wanted to grab them while they were on introductory offers, so I did. Final thing from Boots was this, because it was in the sale and I have all the others. So this is the Philosophy Peppermint Stick 3-in-1 Bath Shower shampoo dearly so it's pink which is so cute um i already have the apple pie the buttered rum cake the fluffy vanilla cupcake i think that's it i think i only have three so i decided i'd pick this one up as well smells really nice kind of zingy and refreshing but not too like kablam peppermint so yeah pick that one up seven pounds instead of 14 which is what they were before christmas so it seemed like a bargain and then the final makeup things were three pencils from Gosh that I picked up when I was in Superdrug. Uh, they are two of the Smoky Eyeliner, which look like that. So I got Smoky Blue and Smoky Brown, um, which are really pretty actually. I haven't worn, like, haven't actually used them yet, but I've swatched them and I'm very pleased with them. So the blue is on the bottom and the brown is on the top and the brown is almost kind of charcoal so looking forward to playing with those and they're really soft and creamy and I also picked up a gosh lip liner and this is in the shade antique rose because I don't have that many lip liners and I fancied another one so that's right there and so that brings me to my final and slightly larger more excessive than I would usually spend purchase for my birthday which comes in a box like that so we already have an idea of how expensive it was um i bought myself some tom ford sunglasses which i've been looking for a pair of designer sunglasses for a really long time i broke four pairs of cheap sunglasses this past summer and i generally buy cheap ones because historically i always thought that I mean, I struggle to find sunglasses that suit me, is basically the bottom line. So I just figured I'll buy cheaper ones, and that way it doesn't really matter if I break them. But I kind of reached a point where I decided that I would actually like something a bit nicer. Um, you know, I'm of an age now where I think I should have that. So they come in a case. I had a choice of cases, which was nice. Um, you know, a little cleaning cloth. And then here they are. These are, the model of these is the Jennifer, apparently. I'm told, yes, it's the Jennifer. So it has like little silver that I've probably just put fingerprints over. Little silver bars on the side and kind of the lenses are kind of loose on the side which is really pretty. And I just, I tried them on and then put them down and then tried them on and then put them down and then tried them on and then put them down and just decided that actually I was just going to have to get them and that would just be it and I was just going to have to take incredibly good care of them and not break them given how much they cost. They were, I think they were 217 which is not the most expensive pair I saw that day but it's more than I've ever paid it's probably more than every other pair I've ever had combined but I love them and I'm very excited to actually be in the kind of weather where I can wear them so it was yeah it was a nice thing to have you know one kind of significant thing for my birthday rather than just wasting money on a ton of smaller things which is historically what I've done so it felt nice to have something that was a bit more of an investment if that makes sense so that was it, that was my collection of shopping from January, some of my birthday stuff, some of my general stuff that I just picked up. Uh, I hope that was interesting for you. As always, if you have any questions about any of the products that I showed, or you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I think it's below, I always point below. Is it below? It is below. Leave them below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, and I guess I will talk to you guys in my next video, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.